Hey, what's up guys? How you doing today? I'm looking in my fridge for some inspiration for the limitation cocktail number three. So let's see what we got. Oh, that's gotta be good. See, fresh dill and lime. That gives me an idea. Let's make a riff on the gin gimlet with fresh dill. Let's do this. All right guys, so today's episode is the limitation cocktail number three. And I thought it would be a good idea for this one to not only give you a cocktail recipe, but also to give you some tips to be able to create a cocktail on your own in case you don't have all the ingredients I'm using today. So we're gonna talk a little bit about sours. A sour is a mix of spirit, sugar, and citrus, and it can be the spirit of your choice. For example, a daiquiri is a rum sour, and a gimlet is a gin sour. So as long as you have spirit, sugar, and citrus at home, you can make yourself a delicious drink. But today we're gonna concentrate on the gin gimlet and we're gonna riff it a little bit to make it even better. So we're gonna start with two ounces of your favorite gin and then for the sugar we're gonna mix a little bit of liqueur, maraschino liqueur for one part. So half an ounce of it and half an ounce of simple syrup. So when it comes to sour cocktails, the sweetener also is up to you. You can use the syrup of your choice, you can use the liquor of your choice, you can even mix them both, as long as you keep a certain ratio. We say for a sour that there's a golden rule to respect that is usually about two parts of spirit one part of sweetener and one part of citrus. And as long as you stay within that range, you should be pretty balanced. So that being said, now we're gonna juice one ounce of lime juice. And now we wanna use what we have in our fridge. So I found a little bit of fresh dill in mine. So I thought it would be a very good idea to go with the botanicals in the gin. So we're gonna throw a few sprigs of dill in the shaker, just like that. And it can be the herb of your choice. If you have some mint, rosemary, even thyme in your fridge, it can work pretty well. So now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake. And now we're gonna fine strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. And now for the garnish, because we want to enhance the flavor of the herb, we're gonna clip a little sprig of fresh dill next to the cocktail, just like that. It's gonna tickle your nose and it's gonna smell really good. And don't forget, about 80% of what you taste comes from what you smell. So it is very important. This, my friend, is how I make my improvised dill gin gimlet. So let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. It is very bright and refreshing. The dill and the lime together just pops. It is very good. And the sugar from the maraschino, it is not too sweet. It is a sweet liqueur, but it has a dry finish. So it is just perfectly balanced. Now, obviously the botanicals of the gin and the dill, two thumbs up, it is super good. So guys, it is a very fun experiment. Don't be shy if you have anything that would look like this in your fridge, give it a try. If something works, well, tag us on Instagram. I would be very curious to you see what you guys came up with. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, have a great day, have a great week. Cheers, see you next time. And remember, about 80% of what you smell comes from what you taste, because that makes sense.